we're gonna talk about the Amazon Redshift Power Automate Connector. And to do that, I have a helper today. Hi, I'm Kaylin. Kaylin and I are delighted to talk for two minutes about the Amazon Redshift Power Automate Connector. Now this is inside of Amazon Web Services. Kaylin, there's three actions. Can you tell us what those actions are in this connector? Um, getting a row, getting rows, and getting a table. Perfect. Thank you, Kaylin. Appreciate your help. So those three actions could be used to help you streamline the setup, deployment, and management of your data warehouse, and then just to manage the data itself. So we can take a look at the website link which is going to take us to the AWS site, specifically about Redshift. And while there's a lot of information here, this is just like salesy about what it is. Now, if we keep scrolling, we have a few use cases here in general of the product itself. Now, this isn't just what you can use the connector for. This is in general what you can use Redshift. So they have business intelligence, operational analytics, data as a service, and predictive analytics. Now you could use those use cases in Power Automate as well, but remember you're limiting your actions. There's only three of them. Now if we go to vendor documentation, it's really exciting when we see vendor documentation it goes into greater depth and detail and really can help you get started. The problem with this technical documentation, though it's wonderful, is it has nothing to do with Power Automate. I searched pretty comprehensively in this website, in this help area, in this technical documentation and getting started. And there's absolutely nothing in here about how to work with Power Automate. It's great if you wanna learn more about Redshift itself, but it's not gonna help you if you're looking for specifics on Power Automate. The only documentation they offer you is the Microsoft documentation, which is lacking. It's only documenting what their three actions are um, and just other general details that you're gonna find in Microsoft documentation of every connector. So it's a well-built connector, disappointing documentation. We're really hoping to see more and hopefully we can learn more about what you can do with this connector later.